uh, the verse for the day and the mini devotion are going to be in Matthew chapter 1. The verse for the day is Matthew chapter 1 and it's verse 21. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. Awesome. Hmm. She will give birth to a son and you are to give him the name Jesus because he will save the save his people from their sins. Uh, the angel is telling Joseph this. This is talking about Joseph when he's having the dream about uh, the angel coming to him and telling him not to divorce Mary. So I'm going to read this and then we're going to go over it. Matthew chapter 1 verses 18 through 25. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Think about that. She was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Now, ladies, if that don't mess you up, I don't know what will. That would mess me up. Bless her heart. 19. Because Joseph, her husband, was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. So he was just going to say, you know, Mary, um, not really into this whole uh, you being pregnant before we're married thing. Um, so I'm just going to say bye-bye now. Poor Joseph. You talk about a conundrum between the both of them. I can't even fathom what that felt like for both of them. That would that would be very hard, be very difficult. They both had to be very obedient and trust in God. Verse 20. But after he had considered this, meaning Joseph, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. 21. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. Wow. That's just... When I sit here and I read that and I think about it, it's like, you know, an angel visited him in his dream to tell him, dude, take her as your wife. This is the way it's supposed to be. I want you to be his dad, his earthly dad. What a, what a, um, number one, what an honor. Number two, how scary. I mean, let's just be honest. That's scary. It's just so cool though, too. <laughs> okay. Verse 22. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. <sighs> when Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. Do you get that? Verse 24. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. So he did it. He was obedient. He went ahead and took her and married her. But then it says in verse 25, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son. So that means they didn't do the nasty until after she gave birth to a son. So she was pure. He was pure. Jesus was pure. The whole nine yards. It's just awesome. And then the last part says, and he gave him the name Jesus. If you sit and you read this and you look over it and you think about all the scenarios to this, it's overwhelming. It's awesome. It's frightening. But yet it was God's perfect plan. How cool. Lord, thank you for your birth. Thank you so much for doing this. And I'm sorry 
that you had to go through this. But I thank you from the bottom of my heart for it. In Jesus' name, amen.